Well, in our team program for fiscal year 2013-2014, we had 52 members and that number continues to grow. Uh, last year we implemented a lot more um, field trips, community service activities. Our kids actually did a piece over 200 hours of community service last year at um, both within the club and at community organizations. Uh, we threw parties, we had a three-on-three -three basketball tournament, we brought in a hip-hop artist and a DJ to do a history of hip-hop program for the kids and um, it was really about getting the kids out into the community and bringing the community into the club to help build that team program. The teens love to have guest speakers come and again it provides them insight into things that they might may know nothing about or um, expert knowledge in something they have an interest in. We had Andy Dagna who was a music producer come in and provide information of the industry that a lot of the kids have an interest in but they have uh, nowhere to go for real insider knowledge but when they can meet people like Mr. Dagna that uh, was a music producer or um, Mr. Dutta who works on Wall Street, um, then they get some insight into different things that they can do and things that may fit them better. We have identified 40 youth who will be rising teens within the next year and so it's very between the two clubs. So it's very important that we retain those youth and continue to impact them the way that the Boys and Girls Club has impacted them as younger members as well as recruiting those rising teens from the middle schoolers to, uh, from the middle schoolers so it's very very important that we offer this program with age appropriate activities and curriculum as well as uh, positive adult role models for these teens in our community and these rising teens in our community